Hi, my name's Brad, and I'm going to take a moment to talk to you today about front-end testing. So, it's 2013, and the front-end of the web is looking better than ever. I don't know what it's been doing, maybe it's been, you know, losing a little bit of weight or buying itself new clothes, but whatever it is, it's getting a lot more attention. And, as a front-end developer myself, that terrifies me. So, it's not that I don't think my front-end will work. You know, I'm 99% sure that if I click that button, it'll submit that form. I mean, I'm 70% sure that if I click that button, it'll, it'll, it'll probably work. But the thing is, I'm lacking certainty. Now, tests are what have given back-end developers that peace of mind for years. Does A equal B? Yes, great, we love you, you can stay. If not, you just tweak it, test it, and then deploy. Now, is that same sort of safety available to the front end? Yes, it is. And I'm here to share a couple of tools with you, as well as some that are just on the horizon. So first up is JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is being relied on more and more as a server-side language. And as such, we should test it, just like we do with other server-side languages. So Jasmine is a behavior-driven development framework for JavaScript. It allows you to write specs, and then you would write the code that makes those specs fail, and then pass, and then you repeat that process. Typical TDD. Now, anyone who's written tests in RSpec for Ruby should be able to dive into Jasmine without any trouble. So there's no excuse. You can start testing your JavaScript today. Now, it is the front end after all. So we have to realize that the user interaction with our site plays a big part. We can't just test that a button works. We have to make sure that if a user clicks it, it still does exactly what we expect. So Selenium is a piece of software that allows you to automate the browser. This means you can write little scripts that will fill in a form and then click a button, and you can just save those down and run them after every change you make. This takes out that repetitive user testing process. Now, that's all well and good if users just filled in a form as you expected them to and then clicked the correct button. But as we all know, our users are a bit like headless chickens. They'll run around clicking anything on a page. So services like usertesting.com will actually get real users to use your site and will record their experiences so that you can watch those videos and learn exactly what your users are doing. Now, that covers JavaScript and the user interaction with your site. But what about the other two parts of the front end, HTML and CSS? Now, they might seem trivial, but remember that if you display none your shopping cart or delete your closing footer tag, you can seriously impact your site. So are there tools available to test CSS? Well, yes, there are. The first one is Cactus. Now, like Jasmine, Cactus allows you to write little specs that describe your elements. So you could write something that says, expect the H1 element on my home page to be white and 12 pixels. Then you can just run that after each change you make, and it'll assert that that's still how it looks. The other one is Needle. So what Needle does is it takes a screenshot of your site before you make changes and another one afterwards. Then it plays a little bit of a spot the difference game, which is brilliant because it can tell you if your, if your logo has been nudged to the left a little bit, or if something is missing entirely. Now, both of those services are still in their very early stages, but that's okay because they represent an awareness of the problem and a demand for the solution. Because you see, fragile CSS and HTML should not be the cause of limitation when it comes to the front end. This was the core motivation when myself and a couple of other developers, Lenny and Alex, created Earl. So what Earl is, is it's a service that leverages the power of crowdsourcing. It'll get real users to test your site every day on different devices and browsers. It acts a little bit like a monitoring service. So we'll tell you when we find a problem. This means you can code with confidence and know that Earl would alert you immediately if it found a problem. So you can get straight on to fixing it. You can also then rely on Earl to retest your page the next day. So is front-end testing a thing? Well, yes, it certainly is. It might be that some of the tools are still quite young, but that's perfectly okay. The important thing is you can contribute to front-end testing today. So fire up a repo, get your fingers onto the keys and contribute to the movement. Let's give those back-end developers a run for their money and here's to a limitless front-end future.
Thank you.